fail, this is part three, and we're going to do a nested for in loop. So in this case, we have an object in which there are a series of objects, and we want to look at all the values inside the inner objects. So relatively similar to the idea that we just described with a, for, with a nested for loop, we just nest a for in loop inside another for in loop. So key and nested object, and inside of that variable inner key in nested object at key. So this gives us the value of the object over which we were iterating, which is essentially going to be like this value first, then this, and then this. Then nested object at key, at inner key, is going to give us each individual value. So let's go ahead and run it. We get that same nice one, two, three, end of inner, all the way to the end. Excellent. So now let's talk about a sales numbers for a couple of teams. So we have individual sales uh, representatives, Amy Jones, Davy Jones, and Crazy Jones on team one. And then team two, we have Jonas Ames, Joni Davids, and Joni Craze. And each one of them has a total. And we want to look at all of the totals for all of the salespeople on all of the teams. So we'll start by saying variable team name and sales numbers, which will iterate over the properties of sales numbers object. Then we'll say for variable salesperson in sales numbers at team name, which is going to iterate over all the properties of the inner object. Then if we console.log sales numbers at team name at salesperson, we'll individually visit all of the values in the inner objects. And there we go. So we're going to complete a function that takes one parameter, a or n object of objects, and logs all of its values, log each value in the inner object, one at a time, then a second inner object, and so on, to the console. Your function should use a nested for in loop to log each value from all inner objects, then return nothing. Below is an example of the code running, assuming that you will have completed the described function, loop an object of objects. So we're going to grab our function stub, and we'll grab our test cases. So first thing we're going to do is create a for in loop that iterates over the nested object. We'll wrap our pseudocode. Then we're going to say for variable inner key in nested object at key. We could definitely say something like variable inner object is equal to nested object at key and just say inner key in inner object. But for now, I'm going to leave that off. But the same idea that we did for the for loop could be applicable here using an alias. Um, so we're going to log the current value to the console. So console.log nested object at key at inner key. So if we run that, one, two, three, one, two, five, six, uh, true, false, leaves, ABC. Excellent. Let's take our now completed function back to the input window, paste it in. Oh, for the love of goodness. Now, did I have another error in this one, or did I? Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to refresh this, because I think I corrected an error, but it might not be the one that's on this one. Uh, in any case, this is correct code, so we're not going to worry about it. And again, uh, just in case you're curious from the previous one that we just did, uh, when you go back and fix it, it tends to work. Uh, but for now, we're going to leave this as is. And in when you actually see this, the code that you write, if it looks like this, will work, because I'm going to go fix the syntax error. Uh, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next one.